it's really cold again. We had a couple days of warm weather and that got me a little bit spoiled. Recently, I took a little time offline just to really focus back on my life. And it was good to not be so involved with the online life. Of course, you see my videos, but other than that, I've been really working on my life here at home. Looks like it's gonna rain today, so we're gonna spend some time indoors. I'm gonna show you just all the different things that I'm doing this morning. Oh, it's just too cold to be outside today, so I thought I would show you what I'm working on, some craft projects. I got two of these bunnies and when I got them, they were broken. So I hot glued the ears back on them. I love these rabbits, but they look really unsightly with the broken ears. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it that you can't see that. So I have these two and these are, they're very, very pretty. They're farmhouse wreaths that you can hang at your door. Very nice looking. But I'm going to go ahead and cut one of these and I'm going to use it and make little wreaths for my rabbits. As you all know, I love bunny rabbits and I love decorating in the springtime with them. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this up. Hopefully I can get this cut and then we're going to make little wreaths for the rabbits and I'll show you how cute that will look. His ears, but I think he looks a lot better. So I'm going ahead and I'm working on all of these and just make them a little more festive and decorative and then I'll show you what we're working on next. This is my out porch pantry. Now this is really dark in here, so you're probably not gonna see very clear, but I wanted to show you that this is what I'm working on. This is the older of my food. So now you normally see me in my indoor pantry. This is the outdoor pantry. So I store all of my potatoes out here, cabbage, carrots, and I do have some canned food but I'm working on three shelving units. So there's three shelving units that in the next three months, I wanna to be totally cleared off, consume all the food, and then I have a little more area in here. So I have the oil lamp here to kind of help with the lighting, because the lighting is really poor. But I'm gonna step back and show you. Now we, do go, we did go through two, in the month of December, we went through two shelving units that we could get rid of. And I'm really working on consuming the food that we have and that way I have a little more room. When the pandemic was going around, I was really just canning everything. It was a canning frenzy. And now I need to get to the point where I use up some of this food before I start with other stuff. As you all know, I have a couple years worth of food and I don't always show you all of my food preps. But in here is one of my favorite rooms and I've done a lot of videos years ago, but I haven't really been out here too much. But with that being said, helping yourself out financially. So you're getting food that's really frugal. Maybe you got sales at your grocery store and recanning it. You can use it over and over again. I'm starting to reuse my lids only for water bath canning. So I will re reuse my lids. Let me see, that's mushrooms. I don't do that. But I will reuse my lids for amazing blackberry pie filling. I will reuse these lids for more blackberry pie filling. So I've been doing that. Uh, I've been going through everything, cleaning up and just displaying all of my old fashioned things that I have. I have been really working on decluttering and just using what I got and using it and showing with all of you videos of it. I have a couple really old dented cans that I need to clean up and it's, you, it's slowly, you know, you can't do it all overnight. It's a little bit like losing weight. You can't expect it to happen all overnight, but day by day, using up your food that you have, which you're seeing me do in my videos, it is really amazing what you can do and how you can do it with just about hardly any money. I know a lot of people who watch my channel go to food banks. You can take that food from food banks and you can can it. 
So if you get extra potatoes or extra carrots, you can can that. All of these things can really help you tremendously. Yes, there is an investment in buying a canner and buying some jars, but once you're established in that, it really is money saving. Canning saves you tons of money once you get past all of the expense to start up. What a lot of people do is they get a bunch of friends together and they put the expense together and then they borrow the can among each other. That works amazing as well. I'm trying to use all natural lighting in my videos. All right, so this is some of the turkey that we got for 99 cents a pound. We're gonna put this in the kettle. And then we'll go ahead and add all of our broth and all of our other items. So we're gonna have some corn in here and maybe even some carrots. Come in. Paul, Paul, there's somebody here for you. I forgot all about. Where's everybody? Oh. Well, you, it. How much you wanna give? Wait, where are you going? Get my shoes on. Why are you getting shoes on? No. <laughs> well, explain it to him a little bit. Explain. Um, I don't know. It's like for this kid that has like okay, so heart disease and okay, or something, and they donate money to give. Well, you can see what what they're donating. You can donate. Yeah. You, that gives you a little idea what other people donate. <laughs> what He's going into his money bank. <laughs> <laughs> Is it just you and Daddy? Yeah. Are you going? Are you going to ground? Uh, no, we already did. Did you go to Betty? Yeah. Okay. He's on. Um, yeah. I knew you said something yesterday. I just totally forgot about. So what will you be? I was in the middle of filming, and I realized that the camera was still rolling. So I decided to leave that on, just a little all natural interaction with our granddaughter and us. And now I have to wash the dishes. I save most all of my tin cans because I reuse my tin cans for all kinds of projects. And we're gonna go ahead and wash the dishes and then we're gonna get doing some more chores and then finally finish this video. It's been a very busy morning and that is for sure.
this is where my future outdoor kitchen is going to be but it's a real mess so I want to get rid of all this extra hosing and I have a small hose to place right here for the kitchen sink now this kitchen sink will be moved it won't be sitting right here it will be out in the grass in the lawn but this here is really an eyesore we need to clean this up so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll show you what we do okay we got looking a little better now eventually I want to get rid of that other big long hose but I need that right now so we got that done I'm gonna wash my hands and then I'll show you what I'm doing the rest of the day sale so I'm cutting this up to add it to stir fries and that way they're already cut up 